been following you guys around all day. Um, so we're going to go to our technique portion of this of today for me. Uh, we only got about 45 minutes. So what we're going to work on today is uh, coach wants me to focus on high crotches. Now, the thing about wrestling is like from the youth level all the way to the elite college level to the best guys in the world, everybody knows how to do the same stuff. But the difference is, is the details. So you go to a lot of these camps and a lot of these, a, a lot of these clinicians, they come and they teach like 10 moves. But you're probably only going to remember a little bit because that's so much information thrown at you. And I like how we're simplifying it, just focusing on high crotches. I'm just going to show up a couple different setups because wrestling is about combinations and when, how your opponent reacts and then how to go right, to get to that, get to your offense. So it's based upon your opponent's reactions to your different setups. So we're going to start simplify, probably get to three setups, the three setups today, and then um, and so you guys will focus on just on that one attack. But that goes for a lot of attacks. You guys should learn how to do different combinations because if you're wrestling the best guys, right, the best guys out there, just just shooting in one time usually get to your leg, get to their leg. No, right? No. So we have to learn how to put things together. Now, with that being said, hey, come here. All right. That being said, number one thing, before I even touch him, what is the most, what is the most important thing other than your mind in this sport? Okay, let's say most important, te technical thing. Huh? Position. Okay, so I go to do a lot of these camps, and I see kids, they go out here and they start drilling, and they're literally standing straight up like this, and they're hitting their moves. All right, which is terrible. That creates a habit. And a habit, a bad habit is not a good thing to have. All right, so what I want you guys doing when we do, we're doing this stuff, when we're doing this technique, okay? I want you guys going out, getting in a stance, making sure you can touch the mat. Touch the mat, then make contact with your head first, okay? So he's going to do the same. Touch the mat, make contact with your head. Now we can make contact with our hands. Because if I make contact with my hands before I make contact with my head, what happens? Yep, I'm going to get taken down. All right, I'm expose myself. So, every time we drill, boom, contact, now I can make contact with my head. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to come to our inside tie. All right, he's going to put his hands back on me, because he definitely wouldn't wrestle me that way. All right, hope for his sake, anyways. All right, now, we're getting to our high crotch. All right, now, my man here, he's been in the weight room. All right, check this out. Flex on him. Boom. Okay, you guys see that? That's nice. He's got this nice muscle back here that for me to grab onto. All right, now I'm going to my high crotch, so I'm going to, I'm a righty, so I'm going to attack this leg. He's got a nice muscle right here, so when I get to my inside tie, I can hook onto it with my hand. All right, so I'm in here, inside tie, con contact here, contact my head, inside tie, all right? Now, I want that foot, so I have to, I hook. I hook right on that muscle, right on that armpit, and I circle and I pull away from the leg. To get that to step forward. All right, now I don't circle and I don't move my feet, because if I circle and I don't move my feet, I, boom, I pull them right into my leg. All right, so when I circle, I circle, pull, move my feet. Now you guys see how I move my feet? I'm setting myself up, all right? I'm in an athletic position, and now I can, I can step and penetrate. All right, but before that, I do that, after I circle, pull, I'm just opening this up. Now we're starting with a real simple setup here. All right, I'm just gonna open this up, big step. Okay, now the next thing is what a lot of kids make the mistake of is they just fall to their knee and shoot their high cross like this. Look at all that space. I did not eliminate, I did not eliminate space, and you want to eliminate space. Because now his hips, when his hips come down on me, I'm gonna get extended. I'm not gonna be able to finish. Alright, so I'm in my inside tie. When I go to open this up, I want to step on this line that his feet, that his toes make. I want to step right on it. So I open, big step. Here. And I change my level. And I penetrate through his legs, through his hips. Alright? Now, once I get into his hip, right here, I keep my lock the whole time. I don't break it. I sink it. I take my lock. I sink it in, and then I break it once I sink. So I sink. Other hand comes across, double. Run across, finish. All right. So from the very beginning, all right, contact the mat, contact my head. Inside tie, hook on that muscle. All right, hook right on that shoulder. Circle and pull away from the leg. Set my feet up. Open that window. Big penetration step. Change my level. Penetrate right through his hips. From here, sink my lock. Hand comes across. 
finish. All right. I want you to walk me through the move. Ready? Walk me through it. Okay, was it inside tie? Okay, where do I grab? Armpit? Armpit, alright, good. Circle, pull which way? Okay. Right, what do I do with this arm first? Pull it up. Open. Deep, big step, penetrate through his hips. Now what? How? How do I, what do I do with my lock? Just your own. Gotcha. All right. Good. A lot of little details. And I want you guys going that slow. Do not rush through this. Pay attention to the details. All right. You can just, just, just pay attention to the details. Go slow. We're doing technique. We're not drilling hard. We're doing technique. Details. All right. Let's give it a try on three. One, two, three.